What's up? Welcome back to 918 Disc Golf. Today, I have a very special treat for you. We're going to be playing against a pro touring player who's back in town. You may have heard of him, Scott Adams. He's played in events such as Jonesboro, Dynamic Discs, and a mental boom at the most recent DGPTQ series event as well. He's back here today to challenge me on his home course, Hunter Park. You ready to get over to hole one and get into it? Let's do it. We are going to be playing the red layout today, the harder layout at Hunter Park. Uh, hole one's going to be 353 feet, par three, right down into the woods there. Um, you can go forehand up that middle gap, or you can go over the top, which we uh, might see Scott do today. 100% uh, you're going to see me do. All right, well, to decide who goes first, I'm going to go ahead and flip. If it lands on heads, it's me, tails, Scott. Two inside, maybe? Huh? I mean, uh, I'll have a putt. Yeah, have like a putt. it's in the ditch. I've got no excuses to make about the DGPT events and the DGPTQ events. It's in a slump. It's what happens. But uh, I'd like to take this moment to uh, give a shout out to um, my son, Braden Teasley. He's still never beaten me in a sanctioned event. How sad is that? Should be a putt. Should be a putt. Oh <laughs> my gosh. What a way to start. No. Ice. I got ice. <laughs> All right. Solid stroke take on hole one. I did not expect that putt to go in, but we're happy it did. Hole two is going to be 368 feet. Par three. Backwards S. Um, the aggressive play is a roller, which you're going to see from both Scott and I today. So, here we go. Oh, it's turning too early. I think I might be in a good spot for the air shot play. Yeah, easy three. Honestly, once you hit a certain point and throwing enough rollers on this hole, you just, like, roller is the easiest way to get a three in your mind. It's true. I, uh, I went to that play after... After so video. long of like doing the non-roller that uh -huh. I just like I, I only know the roller now dude And it's like as long as you get it down like it's where a good air shot would land. Yep And if you get the real good line, it's gonna and be you get a birdie putt exactly like you might as well just play for the birdie and... Oh that might be the right angle on the right line not gonna be able to see it, but that. Oh, it hit the log. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, that was gonna be so good. Ooh, that's a tester. I mean, that's a tapping based off your last putt. Now that's a tapping. Tapping. Oh my gosh, he almost did it twice, folks. He's him. Hey, straddle putt, Taylor. That easy. All right, we're on hole three, 263, straight up the gut. All you want to do is take a rock or a mid-range or a putter, something like that. Give yourself a look. Get is off it that. flipping enough? Ooh, I danger. Was, I was aiming at that, trying to beat it on Andy. Oh, I might end up over there too, Scott. Actually, he, he, I think Braden hit a putt from over there. We might have a window. We're in the perfect spot for this uh, fairway, you know, right where you want to land. I do like my pars, how I like my eggs. Scramble. That's it. Oh. My. I like my pars, how I like my... Hey, good layup. I respect the play. It makes sense to take the. It makes sense to take the bogey there. I did not come here to lay up. I got another straddle putt. Freaking gotta make Taylor pay for these clinics. Good putt. Hole four, 260 foot, par three. Plays down 
You're not gonna be able to see it off the tee probably, but just there's two paths. You got a forehand and a backhand. It plays like kind of in the middle of those, back towards a ledge. Go too far, you'll end up in the creek. That's OB. And it goes down. See how it plays. That looks perfect. Yep, I'll have a putt. I think you're parked. Going AVR three. Oh, that looks good. Sit. Soft skip? Did it yeah, skip? It's okay. fine. It's a putt. All right, Scott's right there, so I don't really have an opportunity to lay up. We got to run this. We don't lay up on this channel. Cash. No! Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Go in the water! I'm pretty sure it did. Revenge! Revenge is sweet! Hey, hey, Jacob, flashback what happened to me on this hole a year ago. <gasps> oh, my. Easiest bogey of Jacob's life. I can happily say that the putt I thought I put in the basket the first time um, wasn't bad. It was a little hot. I thought you cashed it. Um, unfortunate. It's, it, it's this Hunter Park, okay? This is what happens. And just like that, a two-stroke swing. Love, we love stroke swings on, on this course, dude. All right, we're here on hole five, par four, 602. It's way up the hill, you won't be able to see it. All you wanna do is get something up the hill and moving right, and you'll set up your second shot and hopefully get a birdie look. Jacob, what are you at? You're- One over. One over and I'm even now. Yep. We are not taking the same score on any hole, apparently. So, it's making, making for interesting viewing. That's going right. Does it pan out enough? Good pan. That's fine. Yeah. All right, I like to play a little bit differently on this hole than Scott does. I like to push that tree that's way up there on the hill mm -hmm. um, because normally if you can get close, not too close, but you get a little close to it, it opens up the left side gap for like a turnover with like a zone or a, or a mid range. You gonna flex? Yeah, it'll flex out. Yep, there it is. We're a little cut off. Um, chances are I might hit this little post in front of me. <laughs> We're gonna go forehand, try to go either in front of or behind the tree. I'm not gonna tell you which one, because only I know. Comment right now if you want him to hit the post. Woohoo! Too stable. That's gonna probably be way down to the right. That's a putt. Do you wanna argue that this is uh, closer than Braden's? I mean, like, I don't really like to compare myself to Braden because, like I said, he hasn't beaten me in a sanctioned event, so. Like, I'd like to compare myself against somebody who's good. Yeah, but doesn't like, this add fuel to his fire? I mean, he should have fuel to his fire. He plays with me all the time. I think we I think we played like 10 or 11 sanctioned events together and he is 0 and 11. Like oh, he is 0 and 11. Damn. Like it's, it's not even a comparison at this point. Like it's, it's Scott, normal players and like Brayden. Because oh, normal no. players have beaten me. I've lost to a lot of people in Oklahoma and I have not lost to Brayden Teasley. He's lost to me. Oh my God, drop! Ooh, you went deep. I'm making that. Got a little bit of a putt. I trust that you'll make it. <laughs> Not unhappy with that bit. That wind just knocked it down. We got special guests on the camera, or on the channel. We got Miguel and Isaiah, my gallery. Uh, yeah, this one's for them. You better apologize to Miguel and Isaiah. Bro, that was a good putt. Tappins. I missed these last year. I don't miss these anymore. We're here on hole six, another kind of blind shot. It's another 100, 130 feet behind the yellow basket. It's 353 feet, slightly uphill. There's two ways to attack it. You either take the forehand or you take the backhand route. Both have OB on both sides of the walking path in the creek. I go forehand and just go for the birdie. We didn't come on this channel to, to lay up, all right? Oh, baby, hit the branches. That's OB. Oh. You got a root hit. You are joking, dude. That is, that is so dumb. Yasha Koma is still luckier than me. Don't let it, don't get it twisted. All right, we're gonna go hex, and I am going for it. I can throw a hex 350 feet.
He's going for the yellow. What do you mean? That's literally, that's literally like a 25 footer, Scott. 25, that's 45. I'm just gonna let you guys know right now and we'll, we'll see it here in a second. Scott is somehow like next to the basket. I don't know how I did that. That's some like disc gymnastics. It's called touch, brother. Oh, that's so ice cold. That's so ice hey, cold. It was, it's 25 feet in my mind, so I made it. <laughs> All right, so Scott is uh, right there. I'm right here. Basket's right there. Uh, this hole just likes me, apparently. Yasha Komen is like in his, like on his phone right now, just- In the comment section. Just angry, just pissed off, because on this hole in 125, I went for it. It was in between these roots sitting vertically like this in bounds, and I made the putt. This might be another straddle putt. All right, Taylor. You're really getting a clinic today. Taylor's really getting a clinic today. Some highlight putts on hole six. Now we're on hole seven, 346, straight down there. You got three roots. You've got the forehand or left D to the left. You got straight up the gut. Some people take this hyzer route to the right, but it's it's not a lot of skip this time of year. So And, and the tree branches are hanging out real low. Yeah. So I'm going forehand, but yeah, I think I'm one down and Jake was back to even. Oh, that looks so good. Go! Skip! Told you, there's, Still in the there's circle. no skip. Scott, you want to see something I didn't have last year? Oh, this is, this could go anywhere, folks. Hide your kids. Oh, baby. Skip. Dude. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Jacob has the best forehand in Tulsa. You heard it here. Nope. <laughs> Not even close. How do you make the last? Do it! <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. Not yet. There's a house. There's a house. There's kids over there, folks. All right. I'm already 0 for 2 on 30 footers. We keep sending them. Eventually, one will drop, right? Hopefully. Right? I think it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing, man. Try being five big through six. I'm... <laughs> hey, at least you're one down through seven. Jacob's lucky I'm not making my 30 footers mm -hmm. right now because yep. I'm laughing pretty much every putt I'm putting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, hole eight, 600, 638 feet, par four, straight down there. You might be able to see it from here. The ways to attack it are the hyzer shot. You, you've got pick of the bunch. I can't even go through all of them. I'm going cut roller with the star wraith. Missed that. No, I didn't. Go, go, go. It's going. That'll be a play. That's fine, yeah. It'll be hard to attack from that side, but, you know. That was uh, definitely my intended line. <laughs> Jacob goes to the left route. <laughs> you can see the basket from here, but I'm not going for the basket. My goal is just to get over that low-hanging branch and give myself a little bit of a up and down to take my par. He just wanted to play old hole nine. 100%. Mission accomplished. That's solid. Gotta par. Take, take my uh, up and down to get my par. I should be going the forehand hyzer, but I never practice it. I just go over the top. That is like parked, I think. That's all you do. That's, that's a good layup. <laughs> he that's skipped it on top of my disc. That's a great layup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Told yes, you, he eventually one. one's got to go in. Yeah, he just he, keeps sending them. He hits one. It's okay. Atta boy. I am two down now. Jacob is even. Tight affair. He still hasn't gotten the box since hole five. That was my goal. We are on hole nine. 333 feet. You can see the top of the basket down there to the left. The creek runs along the whole left side of the fairway. So the two ways to attack it are really like a backhand that slides up to the green or you throw a flex forehand like I think me and Jacob are gonna do and try to take the creek out of play. Oh, it's too low. It's such a good line. 
Mm, no oh, skips today. That was such a good line. Best forehand in Tulsa. Did I go OB? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> I am claimed to be the luckiest player in Tulsa. Jacob hit the trees and stayed in bounds. Jacob Grannon, new luckiest player in Tulsa, confirmed. Maybe. Maybe. It's yet to be determined. Confirmed. Highlight putt incoming. Run I it. I have to run it. Run too. it. I have the option. Run it. This one goes out to Eric Rainey. I learned this from you, man. It's called a, a layup for the young folks. He's, he's very good at it. That's why he wins so much. I don't think that laid up the, quite the way you wanted it to. Rainey's better, <laughs> Rainey's better laying up than me. I'll make that though. Get in the hole. Sit. Oh no. It might be safe. Maybe. We'll see. Luckiest player confirmed. Jacob Grant, Yasha Komen, move over. There's a new, there's a new sheriff in town. I don't know that being down here is that lucky though. Cash. Damage limitation, boys. Take notes. We didn't fall. They didn't fall in the creek Us and made the putt. big boys have that problem sometimes. We fall down. <laughs> Good putt. Hole 10, 324. It's just a hyzer backhand. You want to take something and throw it directly over the tree stump. I think that's kind of the good play to go for and filter through those tree branches. Usually they'll end up in the circle. I've got two firebirds. I'm probably going this 11 time. Oh, that's OB. Sit! Did it sit? I don't know. It's Ooh. It kind of rolled. Danger. I'm going to go the Firebird's less stable cousin, Thunderbird. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Get in the hole. I like the power on it, but it just wasn't. It was off from the get-go, I just knew. This is actually kind of fun. All right. Forehand putt, king. You're right next to the basket. You almost missed that. I probably did. I would have almost missed it if I was looking at the basket too. We're here on hole 11, par three, 336 feet. You have two routes, you have the Forehand route over OB pretty much the whole time where you have the safe backhand route. You're not going to get the skip today with the backhand. The grass is a little high. Me and Jacob are what we call men. We made a gentleman's agreement. We're both going forehand for it. I may it's, regret it, but... We might regret it, but it's for the content. It's for y'all. And Jacob has the best forehand in Oklahoma now, so... No, I do it's, not. <laughs> it's advantage, Jacob. Let's drop that title immediately. No, best forehand. That looks really good. Pretty sure you're uh, underneath the basket. Come on. Well, we're OB. You know what they say, if you fail, try, try again. Art. Hey. Good recovery. Mitigated. Stroke mitigated. I somehow got lucky with a forehand. Got a stroke on the best forehand in Oklahoma uh -huh. on a forehand uh -huh. or forehand hole. Uh -huh. So we're on hole 12, 295 feet straight ahead over an OB Creek. Shouldn't come into play. Only seen it come into play one time, and that was Joe Carey. Uh, Big ups. That will uh, that that shot shall not be named. One time. Babe. No way. Wow, that was so much shorter than it looked. <laughs> Nope. Circle's edge putt. Do not let the camera deceive you. This is a 12 footer. Tap in. Cash. Couple birdies on hole 12. We're on hole 13 now. 467. You got to go down the hill, then back up the hill. These next couple holes are super bonus, but I think the easiest way to attack this is if you're righty is a roller. If you have a big sidearm, you can get there. 
if you gotta throw a backhand, it kinda has to get lucky, so I go roller. No, stand up. Ah. 70 footer, 70 footer. That's not bad. Oh no. That's I kind need, I needed height. That's if I kind had height on that, it had all the juice it needed. Yeah. Jacob has 500 both ways. No. Go. <laughs> I surprisingly don't think that it hurt that that bad. Jacob gets so much spin on his forehands that it just breaks <laughs> through trees. All right. 90 footer into a headwind. Branch in my face. We don't lay these up. That's a foot fault. Can I get a second? Can I get a second? Take your stupid putter. <laughs> I made my tap in on hole 13. Uh -huh. I make those routinely if you Yeah, I bet you do. But hole 14, straight up there on the hillside. It's 388. It is the definition of another bonus birdie. You've got a pond right behind the basket that you have to really, you have to push the pond if you want a chance. So, and it's into a headwind today. So, great. Shout out boy Zach Nash, Halo boss. He told me he can't really throw these too much because whenever he turns them over, they don't come back. I, I've never turned this thing over once in my life, so I just feel inferior. I don't even get it to the hillside. That's a pretty good shot, man. Dude, <laughs> if I turn them over. I mean, I'm so good at disc golf, dude. If that got through it, I would have been parked. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, it's a tap in. It's a tap in. Tap in. Tap ins. I thought you had it. It looked good on the camera. Ah, it looked good to me. This is called justice. Justice is has been served ladies and gentlemen come on i made the one mistake that you can't make threw it too far i'm too huge he's got too big of a forehand that's what we're out here saying if you miss it it counts for a stroke for me <laughs> oh my god well we're on hole 15 and i'm one putter down not the first time this happened to me uh if you do look at my DDO score from the third round, uh, you'll notice I took a, a five on the island hole. Yeah, I never got my putter back from that drop zone putt. Hole 15, 364. Just down there, you just want to miss that tree. If you miss the tree, typically you have circle, circle's edge putt. The only thing you have to worry about is the basketball courts on the right. I'm going Halo Boss again. Oh my God, that slipped. His putter's out of the bag, and what do you that know? That slipped. Different player. That slipped right out. That's why you bring chalk. Oh. What? He's making it in the hoop. That, is that OB long? No. Just where I wanted to be, another 80 footer. Just how I like him. Today, anyway. Oh, that's so ugly. God, that's like Braden's step putt. Dog. Oh. Yeah, if you haven't guessed, it was my putter I threw in the pond. Calm down. <laughs> I am five down and Jacob's three big. If you know me, you know the term dub club. Jacob, have you ever heard the term dub club? Yeah, dub club. Not like the ace dub club. Oh, no, then I don't so, know. So, Braden's the president of my dub club. It's whenever you beat somebody by double digits. And we're getting in dangerous territory, Jacob. <laughs> oh we're getting God. in dangerous territory. Looks about ideal. That should be on the good side of the basket. Get down. It's a dig. 
which if it's if it dug into the ground it'll stay close i should have a putt it won't be into the headwind yeah It's deserved. There you go. I can't let the dub club happen. You gotta stay out of the dub club. Hole 17, 431 feet. This hole is treacherous. So the OB runs all along the right side. You've got OB Marsh, you've got OB on the left. This hole has a lot of OB in the baskets right next to the road. I have taken sevens on this holes, I've taken fives, and several clutch moments I have taken big numbers on this hole. We're about to change that narrative though. Birdie. Looks pretty good. It's short. Still have a putt if you want it. Edge ed of C1 putt. We're going for a slightly more dangerous play. I want to try to play the road skip. So the basket's right by the road. If you hit the road just right, you can get next to the basket. So that's what we're going for. Even with the dub club looming? Even with the dub club looming. Hey, this man's fearless. I actually really like that. Skip. I think I'm between the two guardian trees, so he's really? up there for a putt. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good on not, the camera. Not unhappy with the bid. I'll take no. it. This is a chance to put Jacob in the dub club, so your boy ain't leaving this short. If it goes in the road, that's why. Oh, <laughs> it didn't drop. Hole 18, 486. I think it's listed as a par four on Udis now. Way up the hill, around the corner, into a headwind today. So yeah, it's, it's a true par four today. I think six down to three big. Yep. I need Jacob to four this or I need to two it to uh, put the man in my dub club. So a little bit of motivation. It's good fun. Fun day though. Fun day for me. Good revenge from a year ago. Yeah. Because. Just just be on the lookout for next year's yeah, video. If, if you guys want to go back and watch me a year ago and watch me now, I, I hope you realize it's like a different player. But yeah. I think I finished like three big last year, so I was in Jacob's shoes. Now I'm two in this par four. What? That's a look. That is a look, a look, and I don't like that. <laughs> oh, too low. I can only pray that Scott doesn't put it in the basket from where he is. <laughs> That's probably a three. <laughs> no, no. It got in my head. It got in my head. It's called razzing, folks. Take notes. That's how you do it. Oh my God. I definitely got it there. It's 30 long. Oh no. All right, that's gonna wrap up this little one-off video with Scott. I got the uh, absolute brakes beaten off me. Um, I'm not scared to admit that, okay? It happened. We're all here, you all witnessed it. But guess what? It's a best two out of three. Next year, we'll be back out here and we'll see who can beat who. I wanna give a quick shout out to Scott. I appreciate him coming out. He also has a YouTube channel. Uh, it's gonna be linked down in the description below. So be sure to check that out if you wanna see some content from the tour side of things. But outside that, that's gonna wrap up the video. If you enjoyed, we'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. It helps greatly in growing the channel. We are on the push to a thousand subscribers. So if you join the family, it would mean a lot. But otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.